really that, that, that was one of our, our biggest motivators was how can we engage our students, how can we provide them with purposeful uh, and rigorous educational opportunities. Um, and we thought that providing them with the devices would allow them to uh, exercise some, some new uh, avenues as it came to um, the different educational opportunities. We've been very clear as a district about not wanting to become an online school district, not wanting to become an online high school, not wanting to become an online middle school, that we really are still thinking about the devices as a potential tool that teachers can use in getting ultimately to the learning. So what we mean by that is that we start our entire approach to the methodology of instruction with what are the targets for learning, and then once we've determined what the learning targets are, then we start to think about strategies and techniques that would be successful to create an opportunity to learn. And then and then only do we say, does the computer help us to meet this goal? And I think that's been very helpful to us because it gives our teachers freedom to know that there is no expectation that they're using devices all the time, but also freedom in knowing, hey, I have a tool at my disposal that I didn't have previously. Should it help me reach my goal of, like Daniel said, standards aligned, rigorous, and engaged learning for our kids? In Canyon City, when we went to the voters asking them for support for the mill levy override, we had to be very intentional about telling them what it is that their kids, their grandchildren, the, the children of this community would actually get. We knew on the inside that we were really hurting insofar as device availability and also equity issues around computers. And that's an important part of the discussion here. We wanted to make sure that we could do this equitably, meaning it didn't matter what school you were at, grade-wise or other, grade or otherwise, that we had an equal opportunity for kids to learn in this way. We went to the community and we said, we're hoping to help start a vision for this. And we then actually created a technology visioning committee, first internally within the district, but then later to include school board, to include part of our marketing campaign for that, for that election, to actually say, this is what you're, what you're actually gonna get out of this. And we didn't wanna limit it only around hardware. We also wanted to talk about applications, software opportunities, how learning might look more flexible if we did have the devices. So I would say that it was a well-attended kind of well curated vision that we that we got out there and then obviously once we got the support of the community our superintendent has done a very fine job of helping to remind the community about all the things we've been able to do because of their support one of the other things that we did too um, like adam mentioned earlier we formed that t uh, tech visioning committee in february of 2017 and uh, one of the first things that we decided to do was we needed to reach out and we needed to see what the need of the community was um, in relations to the students um, and their devices. So we, we sent out surveys mm -hmm. to students, parents, teachers, uh, community members. Uh, we wanted to uh, really assess uh, the entire community uh, as to what are the needs, what are the desires, and how can we best fulfill uh, the, the educational needs of our students. So Daniel mentioned that that work started in earnest in February of 2017. November was the actual election, so that's nine months in there where we really got to know our kids and their families well. We also looked at things around Wi-Fi availability, the amount of devices in the home, who has what types of skills, so that we could then create a message and an offering back to the community that actually would be something where folks would say, yes, this is desirable to us. So, Thank you for mentioning that timeline because nine months is not a small amount of time to plan and we, you know, we, we did a, we were consistent about that.